Smart. Okay, I'll set a PDF by Mediation Associates, LLC. A company which no longer exists. I don't give a damn who you are. And they're saying about my website. Any person of any note would know it's not my website. I don't own blogger.com. I am not Google. Um, there's a terrible letter here, if you can see it. It's relatively poorly written. It doesn't actually cover anything of any real legal value. It goes on for a bit too long to overstate something. And then says, I suggest a compromise in which you remove the client's name. You stay out of my way, there'll be no problem. No, I am not going to remove the client's name. John Lambert, by the way, on some research, isn't actually a lawyer, or at least the one I'm looking for. There is no lawyer in association with that particular company. It is no longer a functioning company. There is no administration or action or taxation regarding that company. It is not a company anymore, except in name as a matter of the record. The person who sent the email was someone else called Kathleen Carathon. So what do you write when you're trying to sound official? <clears throat> to whom it may concern. And she's supposedly an assistant to managing director of uh, Mediation Associates LLC, a company that doesn't exist and hasn't existed for a good while, since uh, 2018, in fact. Then why are there people operating on its behalf? Why can't I find an active website for this organisation? Why is there nothing associated with it? Why is the letter written in a childish way which has no legal connotations other than to simply remark, like, ooh, your critique may be poor and I think it's unfair. You only exist out here because of me! It seems to me that someone is trolling me, that Teal Swan is basically, her or someone associated with her, is basically trying to apply fake legal pressure. But I think, like many people who are actually, you know, responding to me, I've shared this letter around, they're basically saying, this is complete and utter bunk. Go away or I shall taunt you a second time! And I agree, it's complete nonsense. It doesn't make any kind of sense from a legal standpoint. A lot of this stuff in here is filler. A lawyer, who seemingly, it's a real name, but it's not actually a lawyer associated with that company. The company is no more. The person who sent it to me, Kathleen, she may well exist, but she doesn't seem to exist in regard to that company. Doesn't matter. It only seems like it does. I have to say, I think Robert almost comes along, comes with a deep psychosis. <laughs> 